Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's video is an unboxing of the Lush Kitchen subscription box for July 2021. You may notice it's missing the card. So usually we have a card on top that sort of is a bit of a menu. It shows us what's inside, but they've changed it and they've gone digital with that. So I can tell you that the July theme is sugar spice and all things nice. And then you can just like cycle through some videos and some information about each of the items. It makes it slightly more challenging when I'm unboxing it because it flicks through so quickly but we will try our best I'll put up on the screen the information um, as I'm reading it as well so if you're new to the Lush subscription and you're not familiar with how it works I've been unboxing it for just over a year now I've bought every single one myself so as usual regardless you will get my opinions on this so this box retails at £35 and it costs another £3.95 for delivery in the UK. So it ends up costing £38.95. I would say with this box, the value is usually slightly more than you pay, but not massively. We're talking a couple of pounds. What you're paying for with this subscription is the chance to get exclusive Lush items that aren't available in the shop. That's what this is all about, not about kind of saving money and things. So in this video, I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you everything that's inside and let you know a little bit of information about each one. So also as part of the subscription, we get to vote on items we'd like to see in the box. Then Lush will pick a few of those items and select whichever the most popular ones are in the votes put them in the box and then the other items lush choose themselves so the first item i see is a suntan lotion now i didn't even know that they did a suntan lotion so this is the sesame suntan lotion it's a kitchen exclusive sunscreen lotion and it's spf 10 which isn't really a great sort of rating for spf personally i use 30 and above most of the time i use 50 so for me personally, I would much rather have seen a higher rating. So it says a toasted sesame oil scented lotion with sunscreens to protect you from harmful UV rays with walnut leaf infusion and cocoa butter to condition the skin and aloe vera to keep you cool. So this is a 100 gram product. I suppose it's a little bit like having a body lotion that just happens to have SPF in. But I'm just disappointed that we haven't got a higher rating because SPF 10 it just seems way too low even for in the UK, especially in the height of summer. So this is what the product looks like. So it does sort of sink in really easy. It really does have almost like a strong nutty scent to me. I guess it's that sesame. Not that sesame is a nut, but it reminds me of, I suppose this is not going to be surprising, but we put like a sesame oil in our stir fry sometimes. That's what this smells like. No surprise considering that is one of the main ingredients. So yeah, I'm just, I love the idea of it and it is something different in the box. I just wish it was higher than SPF 10. That's my thoughts on that one. Then next up, we've got a much bigger bottle and this is something called Ponch. A kitchen exclusive shower gel, it's 250 grams, so quite a decent size. It says a bright and fruity punch packed full of refreshing orange juice and a kick of cinnamon to lift your spirits. Oh, it's very zesty. It almost smells a little bit like Palma Violets to me, but you get the orange in there as well. Palma Violets and orange, that's how I'm going to describe this scent. That's what it smells like to me. So it says lather, rinse, repeat. Cinnamon helps stimulate skin and boost circulation while Buchu oil soothes the skin with its antiseptic properties. I wouldn't say you get a big scent of the cinnamon in there. It's just more like I said, that kind of zesty orange with Palma Violet scent. But it's a nice big bottle. Basically with this subscription, we get that many kind of shower gels and products you will struggle to get through them all. I will tell you that because the sizes are quite large sometimes. Then we've got a shampoo called Squeak. It says squeaky clean, shiny soft hair with 35% hand harvested sea salt to add great volume. And this is again an exclusive and it's a 100 gram sized product. Ooh, that smells really lovely and kind of zesty. It's obviously a bit of a funny kind of texture. It looks more like um, a scalp scrub than a shampoo, but it's sort of 
more shampoo-y than a scrub. I know I'm not explaining it very well, but it kind of sits somewhere in between the two by the sounds of it. And this is another of Mark's picks and it says, for soft, shiny hair that squeaks volumes, lather up this sea salt shampoo. Fresh, squeezed, enzymic juices of papaya, pineapple and kiwi will degrease your hair while mango and carrageen gel bring great conditioning. Hmm. I don't know how squeaky I want my hair to be because that can kind of irritate the scalp but I'm sure it's balanced nicely and it does smell lovely and fruity and fresh. Oh so this smells super minty so this is a bath bomb. I'm trying to work out which way around it is I think it's this way around yeah there we go. So this is the abominable bath bomb. This A-line attraction delivers a sweet mix of peppermint, orange and vanilla to clear your mind and awaken your senses. You definitely get the peppermint being the kind of strongest scent in there over everything else. Well, that's like quite a fun one. So it's just like at the back, it's like a circle and at the front, it's an abominable snowman, which is more of a winter thing really, but there we go. And my hands are nice and blue now. And then finally, we've got this igloo, which again is a slightly odd design for a July box. But it says Australian Igloo Sugar Scrub. This gentle eucalyptus and Siberian pine oil scented scrub brings a sense of serenity. Exfoliating sugar gives way to a melting core of extra virgin coconut oil. That smells nice. Mm, it feels nice as well. I just find their products can be kind of hard to store and I've now got blue on it from where I've put my hands. So <laughs> I'll pop that down. So what do I think of this month's box? So we do tend to have a bath bomb in most of these boxes. I'm kind of getting used to that, but then that is what Lush is famous for. So I do expect to see the odd one. Fine with that. Like the idea of having a shampoo as well as a shower gel. So there's lots of different things going on here. I really like the idea of this sunscreen lotion. I just, I know I've said this already, but why is it an SPF 10? It needs to be like at least a 30 in my mind. That's more of a winter sunscreen than a summer sunscreen. I don't know. I just wish it was a higher protection. Other than that, I would have loved it. So bit of a mixed bag. I'm excited by the sugar scrub. This feels nice. It smells nice. And I'm excited to try that sun lotion. I just I just wish it was a higher rating, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. I'll be back next month unboxing the August Lush Box. So definitely make sure you signed up to watch that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.